Hello everyone and welcome to another at maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing form 4 additional mathematics chapter 7 coordinate geometry hot's question example 4. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question now. The following diagram shows the straight line BC with the equation 3y plus 2x minus 19 equals to 0. The straight line AB intersects the straight line BC at a right angle. Okay, so this is the diagram over here. So continue to read the question. For the question part A, find the equation of the straight line AB and the coordinates of point B. Continue to read the question part B. The line segment AB is extended to the point D such that AB is to BD is equals to 2 is to 3. Find the coordinates of point D. Okay. Whereas for the question part C, point U moves such that its distance from point A is always 5 units. Find the equation of the locus of point U. So this is the overall question guys. So I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step working and the solutions. So without further delay, let us start to solve the question. Let us begin our discussion for the question A part 1 where we need to find the equation of the straight line AB. Okay, so as you can see here, so this is the straight line AB over here. So in order to come up with the equation of the straight line AB, we need to know at least the gradient of the straight line and a point. But then we don't know the gradient of the straight line AB. However, we know that the relationship between the straight line AB and the straight line BC is those two lines are perpendicular to each other. So from here, what we need to do is the first step, we need to identify the gradient of the BC first. Okay, and from there, we can come up with a relation such that the two gradient of the straight line is perpendicular and we can relate it equal to negative 1. So later on, I'm going to show you the formula guys. So meanwhile, let us write down the straight line equation BC first. Okay, so from here, question A part 1. So straight line equation BC is given in the question is 3y plus 2x minus 19 equals to 0 okay so from here what you're going to do is we're going to move this 2x and negative 19 to the right hand side so from here 3y will be equals to negative 2x plus 19 okay 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 19 so from here to get the y, what you do, you divide the whole equation by 3. So y will be equals to negative 2 over 3 x plus with 19. Wait a second. 19 over 3. Okay. So from here, the coefficient of x is negative 2 over 3. So from here, we can know that the gradient of the straight line BC is negative 2 over 3. So this is our very first step, guys which is identifying the gradient of the straight line BC. Okay, so from here, once we get the gradient, so the next step we can come up with this formula where M1 times with M2 is equals to negative 1. Okay, given that two straight line which is perpendicular to each other, their product of the gradient of the straight line will be equals to negative 1. So this is the explanation behind this formula guys. Okay, let me box this formula. Okay. So from here, in this case M1, M2, we're going to substitute with the gradient of the straight line AB and gradient of the straight line BC respectively. Okay, so from here, M, A, B, okay, you times with M B C is equals to negative 1. Okay. So gradient of the straight line A B we don't know yet. That is the one we're going to find now. So we just write it as it is. 
okay gradient of the straight line BC we have already know which is negative 2 over 3 so we just write it over here negative 2 over 3 close bracket equals to negative 1 okay so in order to calculate the gradient of the straight line AB what you do so negative 1 you divide with negative 2 over 3 so you calculate this so from here you get the gradient of the straight line gradient of the straight line AB is equals to 3 over 2 okay so this is your very first step I mean the second step once you identify the gradient of the straight line BC okay so once we identify the gradient of the straight line AB so now we can able to form the equation of the straight line AB since now we have the gradient and a y intercept okay so from here equation of the straight line AB okay we can find using the formula y minus y1 equals to m in a bracket x minus x1 close bracket okay you substitute the point a and the gradient of the straight line ab into the equation here so from here y minus 2 is equals to 3 over 2 okay times with x minus 0 close bracket okay so 3 over 2 x okay so this since this is a 0 so it will just become 3 over 2 x so this negative 2 you move it to the right hand side so from here you get your straight line equation AB is y equals to 3 over 2 x plus 2 okay actually you can just straight away write the straight line equation AB guys okay since this point is a y intercept and you have already get a gradient so you can just straight away write your answer in terms y equals to mx plus c form since the c representing the y intercept okay the reason i'm showing this working so that you should know how to substitute a point and a gradient okay let's say in future if they didn't give you the intercept they give you some normal point you need to know how to calculate the straight line equation okay so from here you can leave your answer in this form or if you wish to times the whole equation by 2 also can so from here you times the whole equation by 2 so from here you get 2y is equals to 3x plus with 4 okay either way it is correct guys okay so let me underline the solution for the question a part 1 okay so the reason why I times the whole equation by 2 is because of the upcoming question which is the question a part 2 where we require to find the coordinates of point B okay that is the question that we're going to discuss now okay let us continue our discussion for the question a part 2 okay so from here question a part 2 we are required to find the coordinates of point B okay as you can see here coordinates of point B is based on the intersection of two straight line which is straight line AB and straight line BC so coordinates of point B is possible for us to find by using the simultaneous equation method okay so from here let us list down the two straight line equation okay, in this case AB and BC okay let us write down the AB first okay straight line equation a b we have already find just now so let us write it down over here 2y equals to 3x plus with 4 okay, let me write this properly 2y okay and then straight line equation bc will be 3y is equals to negative 2x plus with 19 okay so from here let us continue so in order for me to come up with a simultaneous equation so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the x variable for these two equations into the left hand side okay let us continue so from here 2y minus 3x 
will be equals to 4 so this will be my first equation okay and then 3y plus with 2x equals to 19 so this will be my second equation okay so now to in order to solve the simultaneous equation we are going to use the elimination method since the elimination method is way faster as compared to the substitution method okay so from here which variable you want to eliminate whether it is up to you guys but in this case i choose to eliminate the y variable okay in order to eliminate the y variable so the first equation i times with 3 okay for the second equation i times the whole equation by 2 okay let us continue so let us write the updated uh, version of the equations okay so from here so the first one will be 6y minus 9x equals to 12 okay and then 6y plus with 4x equals to 38 so this is your equation 1 and equation 2 okay this equation 1 and equation 2 since we wanted to eliminate the y variable first so what you do you minus them together okay so you minus them together so you eliminate the y variable okay so you eliminate the y variable so what you're going to do is so you're going to minus the left hand side first and followed with the right hand side okay let us start with the left hand side so from here negative 9x minus with 4x so from here you get is negative 13x okay equals to 12 you minus with 38 so from here you get is negative 26 negative 13x equals to negative 30 i mean 26 so to find the x what you do negative 26 you divide with negative 13 so from here you get your x is equals to 2 okay so let me underline this so once you get your x value in order to find your y y value you can substitute this x value into either one of these equation it is up to you guys okay in this case i choose to substitute into the equation a b over here so from here when x equals to 2 okay 2y equals to 3 times with 2 plus with 4 okay i substitute the x equals to 2 over here guys okay so from here 2y is equals to 10 okay 2y equals to 10 so you calculate this you should get your y equals to 5 okay y equals to 5 okay let me underline this okay so from here you should get your coordinate b is equals to 2 comma 5 so this is your answer for the question a part 2 okay let me underline the solution okay let us proceed our discussion for the question part b where they ask us to find the coordinates of point d as the question mentioned here the line segment ab is extended to the point d such that ab is to bd is equals to 2 is to 3 okay the ratio between point ab and bd okay point d is not mentioned in the diagram over here it is a new point guys so you need to sketch it out okay so how to sketch it out so no worries let me show it to you the diagram okay So please wait for a moment guys let me sketch this diagram first okay so this is the complete sketch between the uh, line segment a b and b d guys okay so from here the point d we don't know exactly the coordinate so we just write here the point d as x comma y okay so from here 
to solve this question, we are going to use the line segment formula and later on we are going to compare with x and y coordinates respectively. Okay, so please follow up with me. So from here, so by using the line segment formula, okay, we are going to start with the x coordinate first. So from here, let me write the working over here. Okay, 0, you times the opposite ratio. Okay, 0 times with 3. Okay, and then plus with x, you times with the opposite ratio. In this case here, is 2. Okay, x times with 2. Okay, and then you divide with the summation of ratio. In this case, is 3 plus 2 equals to 5. Okay. Okay, you calculate this, you should get equals to 2, which is in reference to this x coordinate. Okay, let me underline the fraction over here. Okay, so this is for the x coordinate. Now, as for the y coordinates, similar step. Okay, 2 you times with the opposite ratio, which is 3. Okay, plus with y you times with the opposite ratio, 2. Okay, and then you divide with the summation of ratio. In this case, is 5. Let me underline the fraction. Okay. So you calculate this. You should get equals to 5. Okay, so please wait. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform the calculation of x and y coordinates respectively. I mean simultaneously, guys. Okay. So from here. So 0 times 3, you get is 0. So x times 2, you get is uh, 2x. So from here, the 5 denominator, you times 2 over here, you get is 10. So from here, 0 plus with 2x is equals to 10 okay comma okay for the y coordinate so 2 times 3 you get is 6 okay y times 2 you get is 2y okay the 5 you times it 5 you get is 25 okay close bracket so from here 2x is equals to 10 you should get your x equals to 5 okay but as for the y 2y is equals to 19 so how you get the 19 so this 6 from the left hand side you move it over to the right hand side so it will become negative 6 so 25 minus 6 you get is 19 so 2y equals to 19 so in order to get your y what you do you divide with 2 so from here you get 9 I mean you get your y is equals to 19 over 2 Okay, you can write your answer in this way or you also can write your answer in mixed fraction which is 9, 1 over 2. It's up to you guys. Okay, so let me underline the two solution over here. Okay, so from here you should get your coordinate d is equals to 5 comma 9 in the 1 over 2 okay 5 comma 9 1 over 2 or you can write in improper fraction also doesn't matter guys okay so let me underline the solution for the question b okay so let us proceed our discussion for the question part C where we required to find the equation of the locus of point U when point U moves such that its distance from point A it is always 5 units okay let's say example so this is your point A okay this is your point A and this is your point U okay just a rough sketch guys okay so this is your point U okay we don't know exactly where is the point u since it is a moving point 
okay so just write here x comma y okay and it's mentioned here that the distance from point a is always five units okay that means that the moving point no matter what happens the moving point is always have its distance of five units from point a okay that uh, locus can only be occurred as a circle okay so in this case our locus is a circle guys okay so that is the first step you need to identify identify the type of locus okay once you've already identified the type of locus okay now the second step you need to form the equation of locus okay let us continue our discussion for the question part c okay so in this case the distance from point u to point a is equals to 5 units okay however point u is a moving point since it is a moving point so what you're going to do is we're going to let u equals to x comma y okay so from here let us calculate the locus now so we go, similar to the calculation of distance we are going to calculate over here so from here x you minus with the x coordinate of a so from here x you minus with 0 okay square okay and then plus with y you minus with 2 square okay and not to forget to square root it since we are calculating the distance okay in this case since it is a moving point so it is a locus okay so you calculate this you should get equals to 5 okay for the next step what you're going to do is we're going to square both side okay so why we are square both side okay very simple in order for us to eliminate the square root form okay so from here we square both sides so from here you get x square plus with y minus 2 square equals to 25 okay so from here let us expand this bracket of y minus 2 square okay you expand this bracket so from here you get x square plus with y square minus 4y plus 4 equals to 25 okay so this 25 from the right hand side you move it over to the left hand side so it will become negative 25 okay you calculate you should get the equation of locus is equals to x square plus y square minus 4y minus 21 is equals to 0 okay so this is the equation of locus of moving point u guys okay from point a so let me underline the solution for the question part c okay so that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question. I hope you understand the full working that I've shown to you. If you like this video, please give your thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video. Any question, feedbacks or comments, feel free to put in the comment section guys. Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.